What's up, guys? So we are having a very interesting weekend. That we had the primal two x or it's still up, and now we're also getting a progressive event for both of the Ukraine duo, which is, you know, the first time that it's happening, and I'm sure it's never gonna happen again. And this is kind of, you know, <laughs> clearly Barium is trying to make as much money as possible on this weekend, and. Although I'm certainly not going to buy any Void Shards, I'm actually very interested and excited to pull for the Voids. <laughs> I would kind of contrast this with the Primals, even though, you know, I pulled two Primals yesterday, which is insane, but both of them suck. The chances of you getting two bad ones in row on Primal Shards or Mythic Champions is much less than on Voids, you know, probably more than half of the Mythical champions are very good, so that's totally different on voids though. At this point, there's tons and tons of crappy, mediocre filler void champions, and some of the old best ones have maybe gone a little bit out of meta. Something like Warlord, especially, used to be the best champion in the game for a couple years in a row. It's not really that meta and relevant anymore. Obviously you're going to use Warlord if you have one, but if you have stuff like Yumeko or Galatir, Krixia, so on, you don't need them. Even Armands is kind of like a replacement for Warlord, though they have a little bit different uses. But the chances of actually getting like a really good champion out of the very diluted Void Pool is, you know, much less. Like, here is a good example. If we look at the um, Sylvan Watchers, Void Champions, none of these are like remotely relevant in PvP. Me meanwhile, if we look at the Mythic Champions, both of them are best of the best champions in the game for PvP. So the pools are very different and at this point, I don't think pulling for 15x Void Pool is bad idea, even for non-spenders. And I think it's been that way for many years in a row at this point. for. Ancients and Sacreds. Basically the only meta like uh, champion that you can pull from those is gonna be Harima. So you obviously want to pull for Harima 15x unless you're you know trying to just get as much as as much of champions as possible to fill up your faction guardians. Which I'm getting closer to finishing and I think lots of people have finished but I'm still not quite done with those. But I'm, I'm getting really close, like, let's say I get a couple more champions or a couple factions, I get like one specific legendary, they're gonna be maxed out, and if I'm eternally gonna be 0 out of 10 of Orgrim faction, I'm not really gonna mind that, so I think that's not really that big deal anymore, so... And that's comparing 2x Void summons to like 15x one champion, but now we have two champions 15 x so this is especially good event and <laughs> don't take this as like rage balls because my friday shard summons was depressing obviously you know most people are not gonna get lucky with summons but um maybe maybe i'm a little bit salty of that but this is definitely the choice i would recommend this for every pvp player assuming that you don't have these champions or you don't want to get multiple copies of them. And to be clear, both of them are still meta in both Classic Arena and Live Arena. Maybe, maybe in a little bit different ways that Taras is maybe more popular in Live Arena, but he does see use in top 20 Classic Arena defense too. But a little bit less and the Mythic champions are becoming more popular. And Mariska is kind of the other way around, that she does get used in Live Arena, even at the top, but Taras definitely is used way more. But in Classic Arena, pretty much every single top defense team is still gonna run Mariska, but not Taras. It's not gonna be Taras, UDK, Mariska, Sifi anymore. It's usually gonna be like Mariska and some combination of like two or one Nukers and Galatir. Rixia um, and Armands. Maybe it could have UDK, but even UDK is getting used a lot less. And 
this is like I guess only one day event so you don't really have a lot of time to pull on these I wasn't really planning to make any videos today because I was kind of in my angst mood after the yesterday's pulls but I'm gonna publish this video like right now and it's super late for me I totally recommend you guys to pull for this with any little void champions that um void shards that you might have pardon my confusion I was just working out and trying to do other stuff than raid to not feel so so depressed about the champion pulls but I I think we need to pull for this okay anyway let's see what we get that's a long explanation but I totally recommend you guys to pull this and either one of them is like top five void champion so you can't go wrong here it's definitely the best void event we can get, even better than 2x voids. And obviously, you know, gambler's fallacy is a thing, just because I I got um, very salty feelings after yesterday's mythic pulls doesn't mean that I get any extra benefit on today's voids, and we're pulling 37 shards on non-2x, so I would be extremely lucky if I get a champion but there's always a chance and th this is the this is the best time to gamble i guess come on just let me have mariska why not out of the two i probably rather would have mariska but both of them would be very good like i mentioned mariska is maybe better for classic arena and taras is the other way but Whichever I get, obviously I'm gonna use on both of them, like, of course, and it's not even close, so. Come on. I got a lot of comments on my Friday's video that people have been watching my shark pool videos for like a year now, and they just want to see me get lucky once. <laughs> and I definitely... I definitely want that as well, and obviously, you know, I'm sure other people have, you know, bad RNG too, so obviously everybody feels that way. Okay, I think we're down to one shard. I kind of <laughs> for forget to expose the shard pool counter, but okay. That's the final one. Surely we're not gonna get insane Aranji here. Damn, that would have been good for a video, but not today, I guess. Well, it's to be expected. I didn't really get unlucky here. This is, you know, what's gonna happen most of the time with, with this amount. But even if you have like 10 voids, I would totally pull on this event, so don't miss out on that one. <laughs> even if my, my shard pull sessions might not encourage you but you know you might you might get different RNG you never you never know anyway that's it for this video you know I'll definitely make some live arena content on Sunday I have been a little bit inactive on summer as you guys might be familiar with but there's definitely gonna be platform stream on Monday so tune in for that one I always take a look at the top 20 leaderboards just after the reset ends actually I take a look at them usually like one hour and 30 minutes and 15 minutes before it ends too and I always like to see how the trends are going and what champions change and so on and we always talk about it on the stream so tune in for that one I don't think there's gonna be any changes this week but we're always gonna talk about it anyway that's it good luck with your void shark pulls and have a nice weekend see ya